So the property was a completely new build and reopened really yeah. in 2019. So again, opened. Just before COVID. Exactly. Right? Oh. exactly. Okay. So, so I think I look at EQ, it's, it's, it's got a great combination. Welcome to Hospitality Asia channel on Hapa TV. I'm Jennifer Ong and I'm here today with Mr. Gerard Walker, General Manager of EQ Kuala Lumpur. And we're going to talk a little bit about what EQ has to offer in 2023. So welcome, Gerard. Good morning, Jennifer. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you so much for making time. Lovely to see you. My God, after so long. Correct. Ah, so... Tell me, how has it been really, you know, um, the last two and a half years and, you know, up and down, closing, opening. And, um, you know, we want to talk about resilience and, and, you know, I just cannot help but say, look, you want to talk about resilience, talk to general managers of hotels. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So tell us. Look, it's, it's been, you know, one of a, a unique experience going through all of the COVID related matters. And in, in the hospitality industry, it's, it's a matter of keeping our perseverance and positivity I think so so keen to to drive and lead a group of people who you know ultimately are, are suffering personally professionally mm. um, making sure that you know they have enough to look after their families and first and foremost it's, it was it was about looking after our employees yeah. and our employees are our backbone of any operation and, and we've got such a loyal group of, of mm. team members and we call them sort of extended family members at EQ and, and we made sure that they were looked after mm. um, both in terms in terms of uh, financial uh, well-being and also their health and safety, which was paramount during yeah. a pandemic. And so that captured along with obviously downturn in business, domestic travel being obviously at the forefront and focus. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was, it was a different strategies that we had to adopt mm. and it's something completely out of the out of the playbook we had to rewrite the playbook so to speak yes that's right that's right i think a lot of you know many hotels or even businesses had to rewrite that right so how did how, what was rewritten for eq oh, it, was, it was a whole new uh, uh revenue base you know mm. a staycation the whole catchphrase of 2022 was yeah staycation so diversifying your business and making it attractive for the local uh residents of, of Kuala Lumpur mm -hmm. and extended uh, Malaysia to come and visit your property come and stay in the mm. city enjoy yeah. the property uh the 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 wonderful surroundings and again give that personalized luxury service that they expect from our brand but also give them nuances that they wouldn't expect maybe yeah. shopping experiences money can't buy experiences yeah. beautiful lifestyle experiences with our spa and wellness off options so mm. it was it was exciting to repackage and diversify yeah. the the business to, to to offer those different concepts. Right, and and what kept the hotel going? You know, really, what what which part of the business model or which part of the business actually kept the hotel going? Look, rooms rooms was always going to be a challenge. So food and beverage was the backbone, and food and beverage still till today has been the backbone of the operation, offering great service, distinctive mm. product offering, and also offering food and beverage to you. So we, we were driving with catering, outside catering offerings, mm. Mm. And different options and different sets and delivering to the door. So it was completely changing the, the mindset of a hotel right. experience and, and bringing it to your doorstep in your comfort of your own home, home and safety of your own home. Mm. Um, so many of the guests really... Took, Enjoyed that took, took the opportunity. And how many F and B outlets do you have now, Jeff? So we've got six F and B venues at the moment. So right. it's it's a great offering of different uh, varieties of offering from our Japanese Kampachi, our award winning Kampachi restaurant, mm. uh, Nippa, which is offering all day dining, and it's all, all again all the Malaysian fare, mm. Etoile, uh, our cafe street side cafe, mm. um, Bottega, which is our signature Italian inspired mm. lounge in the lobby, and then we go to the rooftop, and the rooftop sensational nice. Sky Fifty One. So mm. Uh, as you can see from the, the footage probably being shown behind us. The, yes, the I know. <laughs> is, it's one Beautiful. of the kind. And, and uh, you have Sabay on our award-winning European restaurant and also Blue, which mm. offers uh, wonderful live entertainment and also bespoke views of the whole of Kuala Lumpur. Wow, doesn't it sound like a city itself? Like EQ City, the way Gerard is, is, is sharing, it's like, you know, I could live there. I could literally live in the EQ City. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I, I just want to also, you know, first of all, Gerard, congratulate you and your hotel for, you know, being nominated uh, for the Hapa Awards Malaysia Series 2022-2023.
well deserved well deserved you know i mean you you've really done so well the hotel is new how how new how new is it so the property was a completely new build and reopened really yeah. in 2019 so again opened just before covid right? exactly oh. exactly okay. so so now we're we're at uh, full swing and it's fantastic to be back in any operation and, and driving the the market so it's yeah, exciting absolutely. i mean those of you who i'm sure all of you are you know you've been to equatorial hotel before and you know is looking at that and the new the old and the new and now it's just you know everything's beautiful modern love the colors you know and you, so so talk about guest experience so customer behavior has changed right spanning spending behavior has changed everyone's expecting different things so what is going to be new from EQ in 2023 for your guests look i think in terms of the guest experience at EQ and in equatorial as you highlighted is the one thing that won't change is mm -hmm. the fantastic service and engagement and and our our team uh, at all different levels and rankings really focus on the guest engagement and i think that's one consistent denominator that we will continue to deliver next year the the great things about uh, equatorial and the EQ brand is the food and beverage backbone of the operation and so each of those destination venues mm. that we call them have a different offering through throughout the year and so be it from okay. uh, multiple Michelin star chefs mm. uh, at different destinations to bringing the best of Japan mm. uh, to nice. Kampachi restaurant to the different festive events that we hold in uh, Nippa restaurant all of those things are, are curated for a different clientele and give the guests a different opportunity it's not a repetitive operation right. mm. and it's it's about taking the guest on any food food and beverage offering on an experience mm. so you, you're taking the guest to that destination, offering them money can't buy experiences mm. and giving that different offering. Right. Coupled with that, the wellness offering, again, we have, we've got an award-winning spa and beautiful mm. infinity pool on level 29, which everyone loves. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do your laps in the pool, hear the music <laughs> underwater as you're swimming, Ooh. which is beautiful. <laughs> so it's, it, it offers a whole kaleidoscope of offerings. Uh, mm. Again, as you said, the colouring, the offering of the hotel, the finishings of the hotel, it, it's quite tastefully done and, and, and timeless. So the guests really, really enjoy that. Nice, nice. And talents, I mean, we all know hospitality industry is facing an issue with talents, um, shortage of good talents. How is EQ? We know that EQKL is all about Malaysian hospitality, right? And your team are all Malaysians. They're all locals, right? Correct. So how do you ensure that that, that, that talent is there, you know, and, and enough of people, guests get to get the experience, you know, everything is smooth. Um, how is that being put in place? Look, Jennifer, that's an excellent question. I mean, it's all about the branding and the branding of the property starts with the ethos, the values of the hotel mm. and what we drive every day when we talk in our huddles, our meetings with our team members, be it from frontliners to the heart of the house mm. to every every aspect of the operation. That message is cascaded all the way through the, the different uh, business operation units to ensure that they understand the focus of today. Just one, one focus of the day. Mm. They understand that this is the topic we're focusing on across the whole property and every Everyone drives that. And we have 15 mm. of those different uh, concepts and we drive that through. So twice a month, the team are getting uh, exposure to those ideas and it's a repetitive mindset, mm. driving a consistent set of values across the property that all of us live breathe and understand and we communicate with the team mm. and that, that repetition really helps drive and reinforce the, the Malaysian hospitality that you're talking yeah. about which EQ is so famous for. Mm. I know, isn't it? I mean, you, we, we, we all talk about um, being you know, the service standards, having service excellence, having the, the Malaysian hospitality experience. But then actually then well, how do we get the Malaysian hospitality experience if the talents are not Malaysians, right? And at the same time, the challenge is there. But, you know, but again, you know, I'm, I'm really, truly impressed with EQ because, you know, not many hotels will be able to get Malaysian staff and Malaysian talents, 100%, you know. And I must say, I've been to EQ many times, love the way, the, the, the you know, the, the energy, the service, the people, the smiles. I mean, you go in and you really feel it. And I think that's that's really something Malaysians should experience, you know, Malaysians and non-Malaysians. But let's talk about, you know, the market that EQ is looking at next year. With now international travels opening up, uh, what are the bigger plans from, uh, for EQKL? So EQ 
2023 and moving onwards, it's at the the upper spectrum of the the profile of the hospitality industry in Kuala Lumpur, and really the property is is benchmarked to be the preeminent corporate clientele destination. Mm. And so we're working quite hard with our network of of industry uh, contacts to drive that reassurance of the product, the offering, the consistency of service, which is so important Mm. that our corporate guests obviously uh, are very attentive and looking for. So throughout the year of 2023, again, we're reinforcing with our corporate clients that need and drive of going the extra step, anticipating those needs, Mm. which is something it's inculcated in our team. It's Mm. so, so, so important. And it's great to see uh, from the entry level to our senior staff to the heart of the house every single employee just living those values and driving that focus mm. for our for our clientele saying that the corporate clientele is is one aspect of the property yeah uh, you you're seeing now a lot of demand for travel from mm. the leisure market and it's great to see uh, closer to home in terms of Southeast Asia yeah. Australia and the US markets now traveling as well okay. and so the product offers both a mix of corporate offering and leisure lifestyle. Mm. The, the footprint of the hotel is strategically located in mm. Jalan Sultan Ismail, which is great. Yeah. Close access to retail offerings, leisure activities. Yeah. And so it, it has a multiple offerings mm. for a different clientele. Mm-hmm. So it's great. It's yeah. Great. And I think, you you know, really well said on that part, Gerard, because I think I look at EQ, it's 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 got a great combination. Like you will go there for the corporate side, but you also do that, go there for a lifestyle. I mean, you know, with all the different restaurants and the spa and like, oh gosh, you know, uh, you know, yeah, maybe EQ City is where you should be visiting. <laughs> Yeah, so any last um, message to the audience before we close off from EQ? Maybe something happening during Christmas? Oh, look, the festive offerings, <laughs> New are, the festive offerings <laughs> are in full swing and all of those are available on our websites and, and social media platforms. And so all of our festive offerings are there. We've got a fantastic uh, chalet-inspired menu for our Christmas and New Year Day events up in Sabayon. And, again, that brings back... Some of the DNA from our past history, a uh, very famous Swiss restaurant. Yes. Uh, all the different uh, food and beverage areas have their festive offerings. And we're already gearing up for Chinese New Year, which is just around the corner. And we're bringing back wow. Golden Phoenix, one of our oh, iconic restaurants. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yes. There's one thing good at EQ. They do a lot of pop-ups. You do a lot of pop-ups, Correct. right? And you bring Correct. back. Yeah, okay. So we're bringing back as our pop-up for the month of January, Golden Phoenix, which is fantastic. And we've brought back one of the master chefs, Chef Choi. And oh. he's going to you're leading the brigade, which wow. is fantastic. Okay, so and is it already ready for booking? Ready for booking, ready okay. for booking, open now. And okay. so that will be going through the month of January and into February uh, for, for our guests to ex- re-experience the, the Golden Phoenix uh, uh, offerings, which is fantastic. Beautiful. Wow, I don't know about you, but I'm going to get myself in, checked in into EQ. KL, well, I'll call, I'll call it the EQ City. <laughs> yeah, and enjoy all the different dining experience. Of course, the spa. Don't miss on. Don't miss out on the spa. Yeah, that's something you want. And of course, the pop up of Golden Phoenix. Yeah. Right. So thank you very much, Gerard. Thank Thanks, you so man. much for being here and sharing. You know all this exciting Malaysian hospitality, and I'm sure you want to go experience it as well. Yeah, so I was with Gerard Walker, General Manager of EQKL, and definitely we'll catch you again soon on the other episodes. See you.